Okay, first one we're going to start with is the CTC-7. We'll unstrap it and we found a place indoors for this. And we'll check the CRT on all three of them. Let's get them un unstrapped. Okay, well here we are safely indoors. The one on the bottom has the, uh, that's the one with the back missing. And the particle board bottom. The one on top has a metal bottom, similar to the ones we have and it's got cataracts. Uh, we didn't lose any of the pieces of the knobs. There are some things rolling around inside. And this is a replacement tube. That's why it doesn't have much cataracts. That's a, that's a rebuild. We're gonna test these. And over here is the uh, wheel these out of the way. We have the uh, CTC7. Okay, again, this is the one on the bottom and we'll pull the back on that one. Let's go into this one. This one, some bent pins on the CRT we'll check. This is the way we got it. Um, looks like a recent screw on the high voltage cage here. Well, let's take a look at the inside. Yeah, there's quite a bit of drippage on this one. Quite a bit of drippage. It doesn't look burnt, so... Okay, let's have a look at the top one up here. Okay, we'll have a look at the inside of this one. All RCA tubes. fly back in here this one looks like same thing appears to be original not as much dripping wax okay on to the CTC7 Okay, a CTC-7 here has some issues. It's got a few battle scars in the cabinet. There's a chunk of wood missing here. Uh, the finish is fair. Doesn't appear to be a photo finish, but it is, well, it's some sort of, uh, some sort of photo type finish, but I've refinished these with regular stain and they come out okay. Um, it does have the door for the controls. We are missing the knobs. I'll spin it around and have a look at the back. And we'll test this 21CYP22. Okay, and here's the CTC7 with its back off. This is as, as seen as, as found here. The convergence is unplugged. Someone put brakes here to check the uh, cathode current on the 6BK4 in the uh, horizontal output. Um, the two anode leads, which is a crazy thing, but this set has two anode leads. has one coming out of the cage here somewhere right here. And they must have it attached something like, like that. Uh, this was found off. This is loose, and both rectifiers are are absent. So I don't know what's up with that. It, other than that, it appears to be complete. An orange drop there. It's a CTC seven C. So we'll get the CRT checker out and test some tubes. I don't know what this wire here is for coming out of the cage all of this and more uh, okay so where's the board for this CRT that's what I want to see it has this kind of arrangement here not a socket it's the PC board with some resistors and that on it 
Okay, we'll get the CRT checker out and give these a, a check. That is a replaced electrolytic I see in there. And that's a socket thereof. Maybe that's the convergence. Okay. Okay, for the purposes of this test, I brought out the 467 B and K. But I noticed when I attach the uh, socket, the filament voltage goes way down, and I can't even get it up to 6.3 on the meter. So something is already right off the bat here. Something is not quite right. I have no. I have no filament. It's not lighting and it draws. It goes way down and I can't bring it up. These lights are flickering, which I don't like. And I don't see any tube lighting. The socket is loose, but another dud. Oh mercy. This is a 21 CYP22. No filament. Yeah, we're giving everything this tester has on the filament and I don't see anything lighting. Oh, it is It is warm. That's bizarre. It's warm. But I don't see it glowing. Oh, it is glowing. Very, very, very dim. Very dim. Okay. It is creeping up above 6.3 so okay we set uh, G1 I can't set cutoff on any of them well no I cannot set cutoff on any gun do a test it's like it's completely dead Well, it's no surprise that this tube test, dead, dead, dead. I can't even get a bump on any meter. I can't set cutoff. I have no emission. I set it up, these lights flicker. Okay, what's totally bizarre here is I have the uh, the filament cranked up a little bit to about 8 and before I was seeing, I have the lights off, but I was seeing some filament. I don't see any filament in there. And it's just barely warm. I'll have to check the socket, but this, this tube is definitely strange. You could see it glowing before, now I don't see a thing. Well, we went from it drawing a massive amount of current, it seemed, and took all it could to get it up to 6.3. Now, now it's not drawing anything, and I, I don't think it's the pins of the socket because they look okay. The socket's a little loose, but it's not even warm now. I can't get that to glow at all. That's a shame. 
pull the cap on this like I did the other one and hope for something but I did see it light and I haven't done anything except drive that hard a little bit by turning turning up the uh, the voltage on the tube checker but the tube was not that bright it was heating up though now it has nothing well I hit the pins with some solder although they didn't look bad and uh, I tested with the meter that test is putting out 6.3 the tube is just open and now it's cold Okay, so that filament looks like it's gone open. I'll pull the cap off, but uh, at a later date. But well, that's a. Was it the trip? Was it bad to begin with? It, it was lighting. I did see it, but I had to crank up the voltage really high to get it to do anything, and it barely was glowing. It was warm. Now it's nothing. No voltage drop when you attach it either. It's 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 open, and the tester's putting out 6.3. Well, on to the next tube here. These look like they were both replacements. This is a a 25 AP 22, and this is an RCA highlight a 20 H 23 V ANP 22. Okay, the first one, the 25 AP 22. Tube is lighting. We'll set G, G, G1 to 50. See if we can set cut off. Yeah, good cut off there. Good cut off there. And good, good cut off there. It's hard to see these meters with the reflection. And we'll set cut off. Okay, and we'll go for the test. So this tube reads really good. Well, one gun's a little down. Blue. It's coming up though. So that's a good tube. Okay, next is the bottom one, the 23VANP22. Okay. Okay, we'll do the test. This one's also very good. This one's going down a little, but the green. Blue is real strong on this one. Okay, so the CRTs aren't duds in these, they're replacements. This one has a date code of, the bottom one has a date code of 70, 
1973 52nd week so that's almost 1974 on that one this one I can't really see a date on so two tubes good one tube had a strange filament maybe it couldn't take the potholes on the way home I, I don't know it, it was lighting it was seemed to be drawing an awful lot of current and now nothing and back to this one on the bottom the 23 VANP 22 I turned away and this one this has come right up all three 